Another beautiful morning here in Maine. And we're at one of the spa suites at Inn by the Sea Hotel. And about a year ago, they made great changes to make the whole property green. Everywhere from the CFL bulbs to the low flush toilets. And in the room, there are many details that remind the guests about the commitment by the hotel to go green and sustainable. I'm here with Ronnie Q, the Greens Programs Manager at Inn by the Sea here on the coast of Maine. How are you, Ronnie? I'm very well. I want to know what things have you done to make this a green hotel or make the Inn by the Sea more sustainable? You know, the Inn has been traveling a green path for about eight years. It started with the gardens. Eight years ago, the gardener ripped out all of the exotic plants and put in indigenous plants, plants that created habitat and food for wildlife. And what happened was that sort of started um, an idea for us that there were a lot of things that we could do that would actually make the Inn better, add to the guest experience, mm -hmm. and yet also bring us profit and be more green. And we decided that we really needed to engage the guests in the environmental message and we adopted preserve, protect and inspire as part of our business plan. So we went inside. The first things that we did, of course, was change out all the light bulbs mm -hmm. seven or eight years ago. And the inn actually realized a savings of about $8,000 the first year by changing out 850 bulbs to LEDs. We've just completed a spa that was built to lead specification. The inn has recycled sheetrock. We've got recycled flooring. We've got recycled studs. So a lot of design features at the inn that are very green. We also added solar panels and we went to biofuel. How does it make you feel? To, to be the, the Greens programs manager and, and doing this thing for the, for the environment with such a, you know, a hotel steeped in tradition. Everyone who works at the Inn is very proud of the Green programs. It really, it, it's terrific for retaining staff. It's wonderful for bringing guests onto property. And it's just, it makes everybody feel terrific. I mean, you just feel much better about trying to have a very low footprint, very small footprint, and really trying doing good things for the environment. We were one of the first to get our Green Lodging certification from the Maine Department of Environmental Protection. We are a butterfly way station, and we have a certified bird sanctuary right in front of us so we really have to maintain and and keep up the work because um, we've you know we've got a reputation for doing so and it makes us all very proud the state has developed this environmental leader program it's a certification program for those it's a voluntary program for for inns and lodges and and restaurants to to um, not only uh, make a smaller carbon footprint but also to save money and uh, so it's, it's a two-sided sword that, that saves people both ways but it encourages people to recycle to make a less of an impact to, to change their lighting sources to change their energy sources to serve local foods to compost and the in by the sea is probably one of the, the prime examples of how this could work on a large scale I'm here with Derek Daly, and he's been on the property for seven years now as the gardening manager. How you doing, Derek? Good, I'm doing great. Beautiful day. Uh, this is our vegetable plot. Um, we use compost as our main source of nutrients, and it's basically a display. You wouldn't believe how many young kids today don't even realize that a tomato actually grows on a tomato plant. But we have tomatoes, we have herbs, we have these huge bean towers, parsley that's used to garnish the plates in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and a variety of flowers. The flowers are a natural insecticide. Marigolds and snapdragons keep bugs out of the garden so we don't have to use insecticides. Great. Show me the, uh, the native species that you brought back into the property. All right, well. sweet. The right here. Great. This is the milkweed plant. We've been rewarded this year by actually having the larva of the monarch butterfly actually oh, yeah. nest on it. Uh, the milkweed is the only plant the monarch butterfly can lay its eggs on. And I was told you had a relationship with Mexico here. Tell me about that. We do. We were certified as a monarch way station. It's our plant and towel program. Whenever you choose not to have your sheets changed during your stay, that savings that the hotel reaps from not having to wash your stuff, the money goes directly to a village in Mexico to help them preserve the monarch butterfly. Oh, that's great. Showing how things are connected even all over the world. I know. You wouldn't really connect me in Mexico, but they are actually, the whole world is interconnected. Yeah, fantastic, good. We had a great night here at Inn by the Sea, 
and I was really excited to hear about all the sustainable plans that these guys have put in place here. They've definitely been a leader in the industry, and I'm sure other hotels can look at them as a model and say, hey, we can have the luxury, but be green too.